Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be continuing with the Surveyor Tool. Hopefully you guys aren't getting too bored of this. Um, just to quickly go over what we've been through already. You can see we, in the first look at the Surveyor Tool, we figured out some sort of mountains, as you can see. Not brilliant, very quickly done. I'm sure we can improve upon this if we were to use some sort of smoothing, smoothing out, smoothing? Smoothing, of course. Uh, smoothing out. And um, then in the second video, we started looking at how the track tools work. So you can see we worked out how to get a junction, how to curve the track, how to straighten up track, how to create inclines, so on and so forth. And we also had a tip from one of the one of my subscribers, which allowed us to improve the way the textures look. So, for example, if we were to move out to, let's see here, there we go. Over here, we've got a. Uh, very very repetitive textures but by using the rotate tool and holding the rotate key whilst putting the textures down while putting those textures down you get a much better uh, there you go have a look at that you get a much much more even texture much more randomized and much more realistic which is absolutely fantastic so what are we going to be doing in this video well I thought We've got this section of river here. Let's see if we can start putting a few things together and create a little riverside sort of scene uh, in the in this video. So let's see. We've got about 20, 25 minutes, and we'll see what we can do uh, over here. So we're going to see if we can get a little station in, a few trees, line it up with some different textures, some houses, stuff like that. So we're going to see exactly how this all comes in to play. And if you do want to see uh, more of these videos, please please do hit that like button do subscribe to the channel and do leave comments saying fantastic we want to see more or can you do this or can you show this we've also right that's a uh, osgross isn't it no we don't want that let's see if we can find anything from the uk see uk rock rock cover cliff sure uh, gross. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you want to see because that's very, very important. Also, if you can, do go support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. That would help me out a huge, huge amount. Uh, what do I, what do I want? What sort of grass am I looking for here? This looks pretty good. Look at that. Oh, that looks lovely. That looks really, really nice. So yeah, do do go check that out. Um, and also, if you do want to purchase this game, uh, I do have an affiliate link. You'll find that in the description box below. So that would be really, really grand if you were to go ahead and uh, do that and go to purchase a game from from the actual Auron Games store. N3, is it N3V Games store? So just click that link in the description box below. Everything you get there. Uh, is available or everything you, you see in these videos is available on that website and you will be able to support me through there so do consider that as well as you can see I am now painting this area and seeing just how things are panning out so obviously we're going to see how quickly we can do this it's not going to be 100% perfect of course once again we're not going to do absolute perfection but we are going to do a fair fair amount of stuff uh how do i move this around just i suppose just like that there we go so we're just going to start off by doing a bit of painting and seeing exactly what we get we'll start painting the riverbed i'm sure fairly soon as well oh let's actually increase the radius increase the radius keep the scale fairly small oh no not too, not that small Let's increase the scale a little bit and then we'll we'll fix it up yeah that's that's going much better much much better and then we'll reduce the radius and work on it to just improve it a little bit uh, the grass is not as green as we would think which is good like so we won't do a, a huge area as you can see we're not going to do a massive area here there is still the issue of tiling it's not it's not perfect I'll be honest it's not perfect but it's a lot better than uh, just sitting there doing this there you go you can clearly see the tiling there so this is a lot better but still not perfect 
That's okay though. That's completely okay. Obviously the new simulator is in development, so I will be keeping you guys apprised of that as and when the information is out and as and when I can show you guys. Um as soon as as soon as that's available, I'm sure I will try and work something out. So do stay tuned for that sort of stuff. There we go. So that's that's some sort of grass ground texture. Look, that that doesn't look too it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, it's a little bit flat in this area. So I tell you what, let's uh let's go over here and create a little bit of little bit of hilly terrain just in this this area here. So we'll go over to the topology tool. We'll create that. We'll go to advanced. Let's give ourselves a a bit of a displacement map like so. Make it not so sensitive, so we can just have a little bit going on and we're going to go for uh, adjust height no let's go for height up just a little in the area All right let's have a look at whether that's doing anything it's not really doing much at all let's bring that sensitivity there we go All right just give it a little bit of there you go you can just see now I suppose if I did that it would probably be a little bit better um, probably do this as well yeah just do that little little amount in the area and then obviously going over these will give it a little bit more in that sense uh, if I bring the sensitivity up go to that and start doing start doing this now we've got a bit of rivers appearing again, which is good because I thought there was a river somewhere in here, just didn't know where. I thought I, I I do remember placing a river in here somewhere. So there is this or oh, little stream. So that's a good sign for us. And you can see, just it's it's not that difficult to go ahead and do stuff like this. And there we go. We now have a much more real. Oh, no, go this way. Go this way. Much more realistic-ish looking terrain. So that's that's a lot better. I I feel that's a that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot better. Doesn't look flat at all. Looks pretty good, uh, but it doesn't look ridiculous uh, in any which way. Now what we can do is I suppose we could try and do this and just smooth it. Do that just a little bit, just to ease it out in in certain places. We're not going to focus too much on on this area over here. We're not going to worry too much about it. Um, obviously, the, it's created a created a divot over there, which I'm not all too happy about. So I'm going to actually bring this up again. I'm actually going to fix this. Now the one tool I, I can't seem to find is a sort of a, a smoothing tool. So that's that's one tool that's not available. In fact, you know what, let's just get rid of this river. We're just going to give it a little bit of hilly terrain just around this side. There we go. So now we've got some hilly terrain. So it looks pretty pretty good around this side. Maybe somewhere, this looks like somewhere that might be in Scotland or something. Uh, that sort of area. As a matter of fact, just to... Uh, just to give it a really good look, let's actually just paint all of this maximum radius. Let's just paint all of this. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to paint this all the way, like so, and then we'll we'll sort a few things out after that. Okay, so we've done that. There we go. That looks all right. We'll paint this out out here and see what things look like from the ground level now we're not going to worry about this side because the idea is we're going to be looking at this from uh, sort of we, we want to be having a look at this from let's have a look we're going to be looking at it from this side like so we're sort of looking at it like that that's the, that's the kind of way I want to I want to look at it. I, I want the scene something like here. 
or, or something of the sort. If I do that, I could then uh, do that with the scale and decrease the radius. And now suddenly we've got a little bit more detail in this area. So that's a, that's a good way to use detail. So in the area where you need to use detail, you can sort of do something like that. Like so, so you can see that's all going, looking fairly okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some, we're going to put in some tracks and let's see what sort of tracks we want. Uh, let's have a look at these tracks to start with. So we've got this. Let's have a look at what those tracks look like. I'm fairly happy with those tracks. I think they look pretty good. We've got bridges and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like we're going to stick with these oak tracks over here. Uh, we're going to do something of the sort that goes out and around like so. Um, I know the track's going to try and follow it along, but what I'm thinking is that we're just going to do this just for now, and then we're going to have a little station just here. If possible, we'll do a little a little bit of a station or something let's let's see what happens that's that's the idea the important thing is let's see what happens b is for straightening the track i can click that section so we're going to have a straight track just through this section over here and then you can see how we're going to build stuff up so we'll do that and then we're going to uh let's say let's say the track's going to follow the the river around or something so we're going to do this and it's going to go from here around here and here around that way like so we'll straighten this section out and then I wonder how to make double track now that's that's a good question for me um, oh that's well, what I meant to do uh, I want to make double track now is there a way to make double track we've got track side mode we're not going to worry about that Tracks, move track, spline, get track, advanced. Can we do double track here? No. No. No, we can't. Uh, okay, so we're going to stick with this track for now. So now now we've got a, a bit of track, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a little bit of, a little bit of an area around it. So let's go for, for example, in fact, let's go for, yeah, let's have a look at this. See if there is anything that we can have a look at station there we go station good um, let's see if we can just do platform then platform platform form there we go um, no we don't want that no I suppose it's a station then station uh, Stanthorpe that looks pretty British got the viaducts uh, Warwick that's Australian so let's go for this one over here and we'll create uh, that's the wrong way nope we'll create it uh, this way there we go there's a little platform that we can create so we're going to do that and uh, we will move this now how do we move this move track M Ah, there we go. Right, so we can we can bring this pretty close over to the track side edge, which that looks pretty close to me. That's pretty good. the The textures at the bottom are not all brilliant, but that's okay. And then we can end it uh, now. The difficult part of ending it is actually keeping the middle part straight whilst adjusting the spline. So that's going to be, we're going to change the height. Insert spline point, adjust spline height. I want to do that. However, I do not want it to raise up in that fashion. So... I've got to ensure that, what's this, apply gradient, get gradient, remove gradient, get vertex height, apply vertex height, there. 
That seems to be looking okay. And then, oh no, it still goes up in the middle. So that's not how I want it to go. All right, well, let's forget that for now. We'll get back to that. Let's just do that for now. Okay. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Um, keep it saved, actually. That's a good idea. Just keep it, keep it saved. There you go, saved. Fantastic. Um, we've got track, like so. We're not going to do any of that. We've got buildings. Uh, I can search for station. Stay, if I can spell station. There we go, station. Station 1, what does this look like? Show me station 1. Add object. Yes, I need you to load, please. Ah, there we go. There's station 1. Oh, that looks very nice. Very, very simple. British Rail. You got the British Rail sign. Great. What's station 2 look like? Station 4. Oh, station 4 looks very nice. I like station 4. Uh, station 8, it's not that nice. Station 9, I don't like. Station 13, let's have a look at Station 13. I like Station 13 even more. Station 17, it's even, looks very much like Station 13. I feel like Station... I feel like this is the, the one I want, that one there. And we've got sounds for the areas, so we're not going to worry about that. What's this now? That's a large station building thing. That's quite nice, but I like these little ones because it's a little country station, this is. So let's delete delete you, 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 and oh, it's one of these two. It's It's got to be one of these two. Uh, personally... I feel like this one. This one's a good one. So let's go grab this one. And we'll do that. And we'll rotate it. So we do it like so. And then we just move it forward. And I like the fact that it's already sort of set up in such a way. As you can see, it is set up so that it's almost perfectly... In fact, it is perfectly aligned... Is it perfectly, maybe not absolutely perfectly aligned, but close to being perfectly aligned for the platform. So what we do is we just move it back. Sort of like that, there you go. So now we've got a station on the platform, which is looking great. I feel, I feel like that's looking, that's looking really good. This is probably going to be something that happens in two parts, but I feel like that's really nice. And then we can, uh, we've got spline mode, so we can create a road... We can create road like this, uh, a lane. No, let's let's create one of these. I mean, I feel like, yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Look, we're going to have a little road, and we're going to do something very simple. This does lag. I will I will admit that. Um, yeah, you know, nothing nothing too too major. See that doesn't look brilliant, but that's okay. You know, it's just it's just uh No, you know what I'm just going to delete this section. Bye bye. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a road. I'm going to I know it says no density. I I'm just doing this just for mostly demonstration purposes, but we're going to see exactly what we can create from this. And then over here we'll do the same sort of thing. We'll have a road go along like this and then we'll have the road sort of curve off this way and we're going to make a little village area I suppose here we go like that like that we'll delete that section of spline we'll add this we'll delete that we'll add that that will do this and then we'll do that and uh, I tell you what um, we'll do this and then this. Yeah, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. This is going to take a couple of episodes. 
but I've, I've had an idea for something and we're going to we're going to definitely do it um, don't worry about this terrain this not looking right just yet but this is going to be really really nice once once it's complete I tell you what we'll do another five five minutes in here you can see how it is starting to very very slowly you can see something starting to take place here but this is the whole idea of you know root creation and uh, right I kind of don't yeah that's all right that's a sort of an all right sort of stuff obviously this is a motorway we're not going to do that oh we should have really yeah we should have used those but it's okay um, unmarked roads we don't really want let's go for some of these now oh cannot attach maximum stretch count may be reached okay well let's not use that uh, okay suppose we can't really do much there uh, we can go for a car park which doesn't really that's just a car park really Oh, I see. I see how we can do this. I see how this was going to work. Okay, so if we were to delete this spline, for example, and we'll straighten out this spline first. There we go. We'll straighten out that one, that one, and uh, I suppose that's as straight as we're going to get that. Uh, we can then put... We don't want country roads. We just want this sort of... That's a car spawner. How lovely. Look at that. Car spawner. Oh, that's very, very nice. Very nice, very, very nice. So we can just have cars driving around in the area, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're just going to delete that. We we actually want this one over here. And we can create a little bit of a car park. Sort of a cross across the road. Obviously, this isn't exactly in the in the best fashion but if we did want to make it in the best fashion what we do is we move splines and we say well, all right that one can go uh, exactly let's say exactly there that one will go exactly there this one will go exactly there move this here and this one will go exactly there and then suddenly you have a car park that's pretty much perfectly attached to the side of the road which is great um what else do we have now what can we do what can we do I kind of feel like I want to create these see I want to be able to do these sort of roads I sort of add from here but apparently they obviously they, they won't do that uh, probably because they have cars on them uh, let's not do that let's just move Ah, uh, I see. I think I see the issue. So what we can do is we can just stick them there, like so. I sort of want to move the, sort of lower them down to. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they need to be sort of at that. that sort of height something something of the sort so there there we go and right okay so now we can well not not exactly not exactly how I wanted it to to go so yeah th there is definitely a an issue in in this sort of s scenario where the cars do not or the roads are not perfectly you know they don't work perfectly but it's okay, it's okay. So we need to switch that off. So add that, do this, and you know, we'll just do this for another 30 seconds or so. So we get the roads in. The road networks are now sort of working. Uh, yeah, sort of like that, who, who cares? Do it something like this, and then like so, and then let's see if we can get a roundabout okay no uh one way one way road maybe mm, 
No. Uh, no. Single road, maybe? No. No. Taking just a sort of get rid of that and just go back to setting up whatever these were. I don't even know what they were anymore. Country, it wasn't this one, it was a uh, something around here. Was it road small? No, that's not it. SW1. Was it SW1? I don't know. Oh, but we can do SW1. So look, we can actually do something like this now. Look at that. Um, we'll do we'll do this. Okay, that doesn't look great. That doesn't look great, but we are learning a little bit about this and you can see now there is a definite it's getting there you know you were starting to see something happening so I'm actually going to uh, move that there go like this go like this and we're going to take a screenshot potentially in this area like, like so oh I know what we'll do we will save this and we will go into the uh, what's it called quick drive that one control and F2 Let's see what happens, and that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, yes, whatever. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. All I want to do is go over to this area of ours that we have been developing. No. Ooh, okay. Controls still trying to get used to the controls. But anyway. I feel like that's a. Uh, we've got some progress done over there. We've got some hills. We've got a little station, a little track. We've got some roads going in. Next up, in the next video, we'll start putting some buildings in there, some trees, some shrubs, and let's see exactly what happens. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trans trans tra tra trains. Wow. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos on Trains A New Era, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. If you're watching this on Twitch, thumbs up and a follow, and do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below, or you can just visit www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Also, if you want to purchase this game, do please check out the link in the description box for the affiliate link to my, or my little store area for trains i think that's how you say it probably not but there you go so do do go check that out and you'll be able to purchase all the dlc the game whatever you want from there and support me whilst doing so um so that would be great i think that's about it for me that's probably the worst exit i've ever done so I'm going to try that again. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Trains A New Era. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think of this and how we're getting along. Like I said, make sure you tune in for, for everything that's going to happen in the next video. Um, the shrubs going in, the trees, stuff like that. So I'll probably do a little bit of work off camera, get some roads placed in properly, and uh, we'll see what we can do from there. I think it's going to look really, really nice once we make this little village station. Uh, do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would help me out a huge, huge amount. So uh, if you can afford to do so, please do consider doing that. It would be absolutely great. Uh, and if you're watching this on Twitch, thumbs up and a follow. And if you want to purchase this game, do go check out my affiliate link. That's also in the description box below. So you'll find that affiliate link. And over there, you can purchase the game, get whatever DLC you want, and support me in the process. That's pretty much all from me for this episode of Trains A New Era. And I will see you guys next time.